Good evening and welcome to Campbell Now TV, the number one video news source on campus. I'm Jesse B. And I'm Joshua Davis. If you watched us last semester, you may have noticed some changes to our set. We are able to have a new set because of a generous donation from ABC 11 WTVD TV. Yesterday, Campbell, along with the Communication Studies Department, held a ribbon cutting ceremony to thank ABC 11 WTVD TV for their generous donation, and our reporter Zach Burley has the story. Hi there, I'm Zach Burley reporting from somewhere that probably looks pretty familiar. I'm standing in our very own TV studio where this ribbon has just been cut. Students and administrators alike gathered in the TV studio to celebrate the new news desk and camera pedestals that were donated by ABC 11. The celebration was highlighted with a ribbon cutting. Afterwards, I spoke to Communication Department Chair Dean Farmer about his thoughts on the new equipment. You know, having that there, it, it lets students have a sense of belonging uh, and a sense of permanence and sense of pride in, in the work that they're producing uh, that will help them on down the line. General Manager of ABC 11, Caroline Welsh, was in attendance, and I asked her what she hoped would come of this new addition. I hope this generates awesome future broadcasters. We need journalists who, as I said when we did the ribbon cutting, who ask questions, who listen to people, and who present stories from a factual point of view and let viewers decide for themselves. So I am thrilled about this, and I hope one day some of these students are sitting across from me asking for a job. So as you can tell, this is a real improvement to the facilities on campus. And on behalf of everyone at Campbell now, as well as all those associated with the Communication Studies program here on campus, we'd like to send our thanks and gratitude to everyone at ABC 11. I'm Zach Burley. Back to you all in the studio. This generous donation will allow future Communication Studies students the opportunity to practice with new technology. Are you having trouble submitting assignments on Blackboard? Are you a little confused of the tabs? If so, the Academic Support Services are organizing a workshop that will focus on the ability to navigate through Blackboard with ease. This workshop will also show you the different functions and resources Blackboard provides. This event will be from 2 to 3 p.m. tomorrow in Jones Hall. Refreshments will be reserved as well. This week, Fraternity and Sorority Life is hosting Hazing Prevention Week. Events include guest speaker Mindy Sofer, a movie, and signing a commitment to not haze. Everyone is welcome to attend these events. Interested in going on a mission trip? Join the Office of Spiritual Life at the Campus Ministry House for one of the mission trip interest nights. Each year, Spiritual Life seeks to offer opportunities for students to experience the work God is doing around the world and other cultures. Each opportunity is different, providing students with a space to explore using their gifts. For more information, contact Caitlin Rogers. Want to take a load off after a hectic week of school? Well, you're in luck. Come out and support the Fighting Camels football team this Saturday at 6 p.m. in Barker Lane Stadium as they face off against North Alabama. Students receive free entry, but everyone is welcome. Want to support your Fighting Camels soccer team? Join us during Family Weekend for a soccer match between Campbell Men's Soccer and Presbyterian. This event will take place on September 28th at 6 p.m. in the East Eeks Athletics Complex. This Saturday, there will be an outdoor movie night. We'll see four short films in Academic Circle. Students can also register for a chance to win some prizes. The event starts at 8 p.m. and ends at 10 p.m. Time for a commercial break. We'll have more weather when we come back. We're back. Last week in Bowie's Creek, it was cloudy but very hot. Let's see what our local weatherman, Khalil Dixon, has to say about this week. Hi, I'm Khalil Dixon with your weekly weather report. As you can see this week, we're going to have temperatures fairly similar. They're going to be highs in the low 80s. And on Thursday and Friday, we're going to have a chance of rain, so you might want to dress appropriately for that. On Saturday and Sunday, we're going to have 
a little bit of you know clouds, but that's not going to stop us because Monday we got sunshine coming back, and that's all we've got for this week. Back to the anchors. Thanks, Khalil, for our weather update. We'll be right back with a look at more Campbell news right after this. Come on out, Camels, and support the Bowie's Creek Fire Department by purchasing a spaghetti dinner plate. On October 2nd, at 5 p.m. in Rumley Center, you can purchase a spaghetti dinner plate for only $5. The first 200 people to buy a plate will be given a free t-shirt. All the proceeds will be given to the Bowie's Creek Fire Department. Sunday Sundays is coming up soon on Sunday, October 7th. Ben & Jerry's will be on campus in the Rumley Center serving all of your favorite flavors of ice cream along with your favorite toppings. So come on out and relax while you eat some delicious Ben & Jerry's. Campbell University sophomore Amon Kemboy was named U.S. Track and Field and Cross Country Coaches Association Division I National Athlete of the Week. Congratulations, Amon Kemboy. The Campus Activities Board hosted their annual Bacon Day yesterday in the Rumley Center, and reporter Davis Dunbar has the story. Hey guys, it's Davis, and I'm out here in front of Rumley Center at Bacon Day, where the Campus Activities Board has been preparing since 4 o'clock this afternoon to feed about 200 students bacon themed food. So today's bacon day and I'm so glad that we had it back. It's been here for five years now. So I'm just so glad that I can be a part of it. This is my first time doing it. And this year we decided to go with bacon pizza, bacon mac and cheese, bacon maple donuts, and bacon flavored popcorn. So I'm so glad to see all these students come out and enjoy the day. The first student was out here today at 4 o'clock p.m. and I say as of right now we've given, given out about 275 t-shirts. So I'm so excited. So this is one of my favorite events of the year. Um, I'm always here for Bacon Day. Bacon is one of my favorite foods. It's wonderful. I've grown up on eating pig so it's great. Um, and free t-shirts are always a plus but I got here at 3.30ish so uh, like two and a half hours before the event started because I wanted to make sure I was first because you always get the best things when you're first in line. So yeah, I love Bacon Day. Why do I love Bacon Day? It's obvious, everybody loves bacon. So you gotta go and embody it. Why not, you know? We gotta show true dedication here in the creek. So live long Bacon Day. For more information on events like this, make sure you follow the Campus Activities Board on all their social media accounts. I'm Davis Dunbar, now back to you in the studio. Thanks, Davis. The Campus Activities Board's next food theme event will be turkeys and touchdowns in November, so be sure to keep an eye out for that and for all of their events this year. If you're feeling stressed out and overwhelmed with all your schoolwork, we have some good news for you. A break is coming your way. In two weeks, we will be beginning fall break, so we will all have four days away from classes to relieve some stress from our hectic lives. That's all we have from Campbell Now TV. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Joshua Davis. And I'm Jesse B. Tune in for Wake Up See You on Monday morning. Plus, we'll have more news on Monday evening. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you later.